I've just found an elastic band. What would you do with an elastic band? Well, one thing that you can do is you can take your pegboard and you can stretch the elastic band over some pegs. We're going to use that today and we're going to talk about different ways that you can stretch that elastic band. First of all, we can stretch it in a line. Here's two pegs covered. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can also stretch it in a square. So here's four pegs, nine, sixteen, and twenty-five. We could also do rectangles. Here we have twenty-six pegs surrounded with this elastic band. Of course we could orient it differently. We still have twenty-six pegs surrounded. Twenty-seven, still twenty-seven. Twenty-eight also works. I can do four times seven or seven times four, but I can also make a different type of rectangle. I can make this rectangle that's two width or two height. For 19, I'm having more problems because this actually is not 19 pegs surrounded. This is actually 20 pegs surrounded, and I couldn't find a way to get only 19 pegs surrounded with a rectangle. Hmm, so I guess I could take a bite out of one of the corners but I can't get a rectangle. That's too bad. But I certainly can get a line. Of all numbers I can get a line as long as they're over two. So that will still work. Let's organize the integers according to which of these circles they go into. Two is only a line segment number. Three is only a line segment number. Four, you can make four into a rectangle. Oh, it's actually a square, a two by two square. So I'll put that up there. Five, that is only a line segment number. I can't make a rectangle out of that. Six, I can make a rectangle out of six. That would be two times three, but I can't make a square out of it. So we'll put that in that circle. Uh, seven, that is only a line segment number. Eight, well, eight would be two times four, so it's a rectangle number. Nine would be a square number. The numbers at the bottom are primes. All line segment numbers that are not rectangle numbers are primes. At the top, we can call those composites. So these are terms that you're more familiar with. Let's do a little bit of art. I'm going to take the number 12, and we're going to figure out all of the rectangles and line segments that can create 12. Then we're going to push those into the upper left corner of a graph. Here we go. We end up with this curve. This curve is a beautiful looking curve. We could also do it for another number. Let's look at the number 24. So we can take 24 and we can look at all of the rectangles. Lines, the line segment for 24 doesn't fit on here. There's all of the rectangles for 24, and you can see that it also makes this nice curve. So what are those curves called? It's called a hyperbolic curve. Your kids don't need to know that now, but I just think it's a little bit of beautiful mathematics.